right, welcome. Help us get the 10K subs. Watch us all the way through. We're going to help you get a rock and start rock mining. So you're in Hurston at Lawville. You're in where you spawn your ships, where you go to the retrieval screens. You're going to head through to New Deal. Once you're in New Deal, you can then buy your rock. If you've seen this sort of stuff already and you've done this, don't have to worry about it. I've got a chapter for you to skip this. Okay. So once you've gone into New Deal, once you've headed in through that door just ahead of you, there'll be a screen off to your left. Now once you're on that screen, you're going to hold F down to get into your inner thought and click left with your mouse on the screen. It's then going to prompt you and bring up a bunch of ship manufacturers and ships. Mine was having some issues, so you're going to click on Grey Cat Industrial. Once you click that, you'll see the Grey Cat Rock. I know they are a bit expensive. Like I said, you can rent them. So you go click Purchase Ship. It will purchase it. I had a few issues. You're going to go back to the retrie retrieval screens, spawn a Cutlass Black or MSR, whichever ship you can put your rock into. Once you've done, done that, you're going to then head to Aberdeen, which is in Hurston. It's not too difficult to get there. If you know how to get a rock, you're going to know how to get to these locations and you're going to know how to set jump points. Once you're over Aberdeen, you can then head to Norgard or there is another base you can head to as well doesn't matter hopefully one of them is in the sun for you once you go into that base you're then going to land your ship and you're going to hop out now I've got to set my Pembroke armor up so you're going to need Pembroke before you get out of your ship or sorry yeah Pembroke so once you get Pembroke on you're gonna take your undersuit off then put the Pembroke uh, undersuit on go to helmets and equip the Pembroke helmet on now this actually helps you survive plus 225 negative 75 degrees Celsius I've done a video on where to buy them from you're gonna then hop out of your ship um, you just have to wait for your armor to change don't open up any doors so you can see it's changed open up the back door of your ship once you've done that there will be some platinum spawning pads so as you can see directly behind my ship there it's platinum spawning you go into that building and you can spawn small crafts now I'm a bit paranoid, but I would close my ship up and lock doors if you're able to lock the doors because people are going to try and jack your stuff if they've been stuck there and stranded. So head to Platinum. Once you're inside, it's just like spawning a normal ship. You're just going to look for Grey Cat Rock. And then once you've spawned that, it will spawn out one of those pads to your right. And then you're going to hop in it. You can click U to start up the electronics for it, but you're going to have to hold your inner thought and drag it over to the left side in the rock to turn your engine on. You can't just click I. Now once you have done that, you're going to drive it off your pad and open up the back of your ship to then spawn it in. So as you can see, I'm going through the screen, Grey Cat Rock 2. It's going to then prompt me to where it is spawned on what pad. It's going to go to PB01 or PB02 I think it is. Once it's spawned there, you're going to go out of the Platinum Bay building. Um, click Cycle so that you can get out. It's going to be like a depressurized later on. Once you hopped in your rock, um, I just skipped this because of the chat. Hop in, and you see there to the left where I'm sort of pointing, you'll see later on uh, how to turn it on. It will be in a few seconds. Now, getting this into your ship is not too hard. If you have a Cutlass Black or another ship, it can be a little bit tricky. I got the MSR specifically for the reason that it is quite easy to get into the back. Um, just because it's got so much room. If you don't have an MSR, that is fine. If you are a subscriber this month, you will get the MSR. So just try to start using the MSR for this stuff. I mean, if you want to use the Cutlass, that's great because it's heavily armed. But the MSR is a strong ship. There were a few times where I hit the ground accidentally. I had to redo this whole recording because I hit the ground. So you're going to re-enter your driver's seat. It's going to lower. You're going to hop in. Once you're all set up, you're going to then drive it into the back of your ship. You can reverse it. It is completely up to you. It's personal preference, guys. You don't have to do it any such way anyone tells you. But if you go into the back of a Cutlass Black, you're going to need a bit of a, uh, a sturdy hand because otherwise you're not going to be able to get it in without having any issues. So there you go. You can turn engine off with engine in a thought and power off. But like I said, in the Cutlass Black, it's not too bad because you're actually jumping in and out of the front of your um your rock mine so it's not too bad close your ship up once you've closed that all up you're going to go then head to the front of your ship um, and fly now from any place like Norgard or any station where you've just spawned your rock um, you can go to Anderson as well that was the other location I was thinking of you want to you want to mine in the daytime don't do it in the nighttime you will crash and you may die and lose your 
Now, you want to get up to 45 to 100 kilometers away from these bases, otherwise people will find you, they will pirate you, and they may even kill you or grief you. So you do give out a large signature um, when people jump in. So like I said, get out a good distance. I got out like 50 kilometers just to be sure, and just for this example. So once I get to my location, you're going to then click your tab button and it'll bring up a scanning screen. You're going to hold right click and it will then scan the area, show you big squares around you and little squares. And you're going to head to the little ones and it'll show you little diamonds like this, well, little um, frogs. So click the end button to land, like put your landing gear out, land your ship. Once you've landed, head out to the back and jump in your rock. You can then continue to head to those rocks in your rock <laughs> okay um, and you can begin to start the mining process now it's not too difficult it's pretty easy there is a threshold where you have to keep it just nice and cool so you don't overheat the rock and blow it up and possibly blow yourself up and kill yourself or anything there was a few times where I did that and I had to drive off because I was a bit silly these little ones you don't have to give a lot of power to so the had night you just let it scan you click M to go into mining mode and this arm will then come out it will scan the rock and you'll see scanning once it's got scan results you left click and use your scroll wheel to go up with the power as you can see on the left the laser intensity don't go up too high because it has to just get to that green area back it off once it gets like in that green area like back it right off if it does go into the red turn the laser off just stop unless you've gotten it into the green because you don't want that to overheat and blow up because when it's in the green it will then increase the red area as well so you gotta let it drop so as you can see, the green area is going up. I'm dropping my power down so that I'm not going to overheat this rock and blow it up. Um, I'm getting this one because it's got a good percentage of hadonite. You want a good percentage of ore in your uh, craft because otherwise if you don't, you're going to have a lot of issues when it comes time to selling it because you're going to have inert materials, which is something you don't really want a lot of, um, especially if you're doing prospecting or mole mining. It's just going to create like this massive void. You just want to try and get some good decent ore to sell and even refine otherwise you're just going to have a like a crappy time doing this so once you've mined that rock you're going to then head onto this rock and depending on how many you've got there and then you're going to then again hit it with the laser and then you're going to click right click to go to extraction mode on your mouse and then again left click to extract and pick it up now you're gonna to have to possibly move around the rock sometimes to get um, some of those little pieces because you can't really access them all that well. Now, as you can see, I've had to back it off and drop it off a few times. There's some of them where I was only using like 10% intensity because it was just that easy to hit with a laser. So as you can see, it's about to fully fill up with green and I'm gonna get the had night. I will get a few inert materials, but I don't think that really matters right now because doing this, if you get a good amount of ore and you're not gonna have like a lot of crap, you're going to actually have a better chance of getting a lot more money. Now you've taken your rock back into your ship and you're going to need to get some of that ore into your suit so that you don't lose it if you do 30k and get, you can hold more ore. So you're going to see the back of the ship here, uh, the rock. Click F, hold in the thought, open it, click cargo bay. It'll take a little bit to load to get into your inventory, but you see the right side here is the rock and the left side is your inventory. So you want to right click it and split it. Once you get your inventory to 100%, that's it. You can't put any more into your inventory. You're going to stack it and then drop the rest of what you need in there and just slowly split it and watch the percentage. Otherwise, it will turn it into a cargo crate. So I'll get mine to about 100% and then we're going to continue on later in another video and show you where to sell it because this stuff does sell for a fair bit. What I've got here, um, I didn't get all of it, but I, what I had on my suit, I got 30,000 credits for. So it's not a lot, but it is a bit. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.